The Chargers make it official. They're on their way to Los Angeles from San Diego with Gary Klein. I'm Lindsay Theory for the Los Angeles Times. We're actually in Thousand Oaks where the Rams went through a similar experience less than a year ago. For the Rams, they started the season with more than 90,000 fans in the Coliseum. By the end of a 4-12 and season, that fourth quarter, Gary, there was barely anyone left. If the Chargers learned anything from the Rams experience, it has to be winning really matters in Los Angeles. No question. The Rams, by the end of the season, the all the excitement that had built up in training camp through the exhibition season, 90,000 people out there for the Dallas Cowboys, it was gone. Now, the Chargers are going to, they're, they're being smart on some level. They're not coming to the Coliseum where there could be right. acres of empty seats. They're going to play at the StubHub Center for a couple of years. And that's a little bit, well, that's a lot more intimate mm -hmm. setting. It remains to be seen, though, how that works out. Gary, it's been interesting in the Rams' return because I still run into Raiders fans everywhere. They're on Twitter. They're on social media. I was hiking in Palos Verdes. A new family <laughs> moved out, ran into them on the trail. They said, we got to get some Raiders gear. That, uh, don't you mean Rams gear? Never in Los Angeles. Do you, have I heard anyone talk about the Chargers? Is there any appetite here for them? That remains to be seen. I mean, San Diego was such a fervent fan base when, when the team wasn't threatening to leave or that was not in doubt. So many fans down there angry, uh, upset. And so many fans in L.A., it's going to take some getting used to. I yeah. think in the 22-year absence when NFL football was not in Southern California, there are some people that adopted the Chargers that would head down south. It remains to be seen how many they can keep here in L.A. And as you mentioned, the main thing is going to be winning. If they win, that's going to take care of itself. It's really interesting because in a couple of seasons when the Rams move into their new palace, as Bill Plaschke calls it, in Inglewood, they'll actually be the landlords of the Chargers. But this isn't necessarily going to be a friendly situation. These guys are competing for fans. How do they win that battle? I mean, just on Thursday alone, the Chargers make this announcement. Mm -hmm. And the Rams, remember, when Kobe Bryant <laughs> had his final game, the Rams actually put off announcing that blockbuster trade for mm -hmm. a day so that they wouldn't kind of get into Kobe's thunder. Right. Today, the Rams made no mistake. They announced or they let get out who their new head coach is going to be it's like they want to go head to head with the chargers it's a very symbolic shot across the bow i mean part of it is just timing but part Come of it <laughs> but part of it sure set up nice for yeah. a really what's going to be a turf war here in los angeles no football for for so long two teams left because the market couldn't ostensibly support it they weren't getting those crowds now we got two teams back after a season in which the Rams really struggled yeah. you know, on the field, but they still ha had a year up on the Chargers selling season tickets, getting ready to sell personal well, season And they, they also have a built-in fan base here. Now the right. Chargers played one season before they moved to San Diego. The Rams came here needing to bridge a gap, but mm -hmm. knowing that there certainly was some sort of fan base. Right. The Chargers... They have had some success in the past, not really in the playoffs or anything, but they've played an exciting brand of football over the years. Phillip Rivers, they've got a name quarterback, but it's going to be a struggle. Yeah. It's L.A., and no matter what anyone says, no matter what rebranding you do, no matter what insignia. Rebranding? You mean rebranding <laughs> as the Dodgers? Or, you know, anything in terms of yeah. logos, in terms of uniforms, you have to win. In L.A., if you don't win, no one cares which the Rams saw in the final game, that fourth quarter. The media and the press box, we were the only ones left. <laughs> and we were getting paid to be there. Okay, Gary's got nothing but a laugh. Of course, he's still on the fence about all of this. Uh, so that'll do it for us from the Rams practice facility after the announcement that the Chargers are also on their way to L.A.